Hi, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Frujena Pitner, and I'm going to be very fast because I'm conscious of how we are doing this time. Uh, I'm a current uh, PhD researcher at Dundee University and also a research assistant at Aberté, and I have graduated Aberté from the um, digital arts course in 2017. My PhD topic is loosely based on colonial history, video games and science fiction literature, which do in fact go together. Um, and I also operate as a freelance illustrator and I write flash fiction and otherwise occupy myself with pursuits of a creative nature. Um, but today I am not talking to you as an academic, uh, but as a practitioner and an artist, which is a strange place to be after um, about four years as a PhD student. <laughs> um, I think most of us in this room understand in some capacity the weight and value of art in processing, sharing and expressing all sorts of things, feelings, mindsets, memories or trauma. Um, I mentioned earlier that I'm a very meeker kind of person by nature. I'm also an immigrant. I moved to Scotland from Hungary in 2013 when I was 18 and have pretty much learned how to be an adult and a person here. <laughs> I worked multiple jobs, studied and graduated and started studying again, and I made myself a life here. Um, none of that effort, of course, made me any less a stranger in this country. And here's the thing, here's the strange thing about being a stranger. You move to a different country and you become not only a stranger in the place you're going to, but in, this, in the place that you're coming from, uh, which comes with it its own, own particular kind of loneliness. I have the privilege to have come to this country voluntarily in search of something uh, other than the financial and societal uncertainty of home. Um, I'm keenly aware that not everybody is that lucky. Um, I, but I think everybody who has moved from one place to the other, as we have seen in the first presentation of the day, experiences this kind of displacement, this kind of um, alienness. Which, for me personally, this project that I'm going to talk about is a very personal journey, um, got corroborated with the Brexit vote and the um, consequential political um, happenings that happened in the UK afterwards. The strange things about moving from countries to country is that it's always lonely. And not, it doesn't matter how many people from the same country you surround yourself with or how many friends you make, it is always a lonely place to be in between. Um, these images that you see here, I wouldn't call it a project as such because I, I haven't started making them with a specific end goal in mind. These images are a reflection of that sense of loneliness that I was talking about earlier. The paintings are about bridges and doors and roads and mountains and landscapes that stretch pretty much endlessly. Um, and they are essentially about my personal experience of displacement and post-Brexit depression and stress and this kind of aimlessness that settles on any kind of person who's always in movement. Um, they still are. I never stopped making these personal pieces. I don't think I can, um, because art is the first tool I reach towards when I have something to say. Most recently, I picked up writing as an addition <laughs> um, piece that helps me helps keep me upright. But art is still the first one, my first love, so to speak. But of course, I have the training to do this and the background and the drive. As I said, art is my number one tool. Um, but I and my kind of people who have the training and the drive to be artists are not the only kind of people who can reach to art as a means of self-expression and a means of processing the things that happen to them. I have spent some time at the International Women's Center in Dundee assisting an art class, and it was very heartening to see women from all sorts of backgrounds, from asylum seekers to um, women who immigrated from Poland who barely spoke English, finding a shared language in the act of putting paint on the canvas or doing lino cutting or sketching buildings. Because at the end of the day, art is representation, a representation of the real world, a representation of our inner worlds, a representation of our journeys. And it is a way to show these journeys that are physical or less physical in the nature. And ultimately it is about seeking and expressing empathy for me. That's probably the most important part of it. This empathy is what I want to sh wanted to share with you today, 
my loneliness and my isolation and my finding home, but also I know so many of us here are international and we'll probably resonate with that same kind of loneliness and isolation. And um, the point of it is not for the art to be good and not even for the art to be shared. The point of it is the art to be made and through the act of making, processing, all of these things that sit inside. And by making art with people who didn't, who, ne who didn't go through these similar experiences, for example, if you take an art class in British schools where there is a mix of students from different backgrounds, through the act of making together, creating shared experiences, building a sense of empathy, and through it arrive at a more equal and common ground, hopefully, in the future. Thank you.